Hi everyone, Joshua Hanlon here at Bricks Cascade 2019 and I'm joined by Jake Sadovich to talk about his wonderful build that is currently on the AFOL Designer program on Bricklink.com. So if you like this build, you can go and support it right now on Bricklink and help uh, crowdfund it over there. So Jake, if you want to introduce yourself real quick and then take us through the build. Uh, yeah, I'm um, Jake Sadovich. Um, this is my Isle Apparel set. It's so it's uh, basically it's a three-dimensional take on a kind of an old-school pirate treasure map. So you've got the kind of the red dotted line that gives you the safest path, and you have all the different dangers and your landmark, like Skull Rock here, is like way overscaled, kind of how it would be on a treasure map. And you've got the compass rose and the ship out here. So you kind of follow the red path around. You go to avoid like there's a cave that goes all the way through where you would fall into the lake with the giant lake monster thing. Or there's a, like a colony of giant lobsters in here and some spiders over on the other end. And there's a, so kind of the path takes you around under the waterfall and down by cliffs. And there's a bridge over spikes and a couple different places you could get lost in the forest if you take the wrong path. Um, so it's kind of like, it's a fun build to do. And then it's kind of this own little adventure. Um, you know, you could make up your own adventure, or you could place different creatures, whichever. You have a giant poisonous chicken or whatever, you, whatever you want, you know. Yeah, you can really customize it yourself and really kind of choose your own path on where you want to go, and hopefully you survive to the end. So as you were kind of coming up with this idea, what was some of the, the inspiration for this as you laid it out and kind of chose what path you wanted to follow? Um, yeah, that was kind of tough. I was... The clam thing I kind of just came up with, I just wanted it to be just really kind of bright colors and kind of this whimsical, almost ridiculous kind of fantastical beast kind of thing. Um, and then with the paths, I tried to get it to go kind of around and down and really kind of utilize as much space as I could um, so that it kind of traveled all the way around right. and then back up to where the X is, which marks a spot. And so underneath there, this does open up and there's a treasure chest in there. And it's full of parts too. There's, there's loot in there. You just gotta get it out of there. Huge adult yes. fingers could get it out of there. But that's that's the reward at the end of the path is all the pieces you get in the treasure chest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there, you know, there's the little gold statuette guy and some one by ones and an ingot and a bottle of undisclosed liquid. <laughs> One of my favorite parts of this build is the pirate ship. So talk a little bit about that design and, you know, obviously building at such a small scale, you've got to get like recognizable details while not going too big. Yeah. Yeah. That was an interesting kind of challenge. It was a really small ship and I wanted, of course, to pack all the cannons in there and then black sails for a pirate ship. Uh, it was fun trying to figure out how to do uh, furled sails because usually when you're most of the Lego ships you'll see, regardless of the scale, all have, they're under full sail, which makes no sense when you're parked in a bay that close to a cliff. You would not want to be under full sail. Mm -hmm. So they're at anchor with furled sails. Um, and then I use these two little, kind of the tooth claw kind of part for the shore boats. So that's, you know, they've pulled up and now they've gone ashore. So it's almost kind of, it's like kind of a cross between the treasure map and then the actual adventure of going to get the treasure itself. Did you envision people using this with like the, the micro fig pieces Lego makes or some kind of uh, something that would stand in as like a character or minifig that they could take through? Um, I did about a day after the submission process was over. So I didn't think to actually try to add some of those yeah. minifigures. I, I'm thinking like I used a pearl gold one in the treasure chest because I just kind of threw some random stuff in there because we designed it digitally. So it was, I just kind of, through a few parts there, you couldn't really put them in there digitally. Right. They don't go in there, so. But yeah, right after it was too late to kind of edit anything, I thought that. <laughs> <laughs> but there, there's that potential you feel like to have, you know, kind of some actual characters that you could take on an adventure through here. Yeah, definitely, definitely. The little, uh, the little Oscar statue guy is perfect, and they've got the black one with the cape from the Harry Potter stuff. It could be like the captain. Sure. So what was your experience like designing digitally with uh, the studio program that BrickLink uses and kind of using that to then submit to the, the designer program? Uh, it was kind of interesting because I, I don't do a lot of digital builds. Sometimes I'll do it partially that way, but at some point I have to start doing it uh, a real world build because I don't know if I'm... 
I'm not, never sure if it's going to be sturdy or not. So with this one, I did it completely digitally. Um, I think I test built like the skull and the clam and the ship, but it was starting to get late in the submission process, so I just had to kind of scramble and finish it. So I did it all digitally, but it, it came out pretty good. Um, using the program is, I mean, it's pretty easy. That's, it's, that's good to hear, yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's kind of fun to do, so I'll definitely want to get more practice with it, though. Well, sounds good. So thank you so much, Jake. Once again, I'll remind everyone, uh, look for a link in the description for the AFOL Designer Program on BrickLink, where you can support Jake's model as well as all the other fantastic models that are up for crowdfunding there in the ADP. Uh, definitely check all those out. There's some fantastic builds by some really talented AFOLs over there. So uh, definitely go support Jake's build and see what else you'd like to pick up. Thanks for watching.